Welcome back. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for, for watching another video of Music with Nick. Um, I'm super excited. We have a request today and it's literally amazing. The lineup of musicians and bands in this marathon is crazy. Um, I'm going to have such a great time and I thank you so much, Douglas, for this marathon and of course for sponsoring the video and getting all this great music out to people. Um, so let me you know, um, just uh, talk about these uh, this, these bands and this marathon and we'll, um, we'll get to the reaction. So, um, uh, so we have Moby. Moby, I've always liked. Um, I've heard some Moby during, um, I mean, in the times. Uh, I remember a certain um, track, uh, one of my favorite movies, uh, called Heat, uh, directed by Michael Mann. At the end, um, on the end, the end scene has this amazing track by Moby, and that's how I discovered him. I was like, I, I, I literally waited until the end of the, co um, the, um, you know, the when the movie ends. You know, I mean, the the whole cast and the whole crew and stuff. And it said Moby, uh, music by Moby, blah blah blah. And so that's how I discovered him. I've been a fan since I, I I don't know that much of Moby, but I know enough that I know that he's great. And that, so second on the list, so we're going to do Why Does My Heart Feel So Bad? And this is from the album Play and Play B-Sides. This is from 2008. So yeah, definitely way before I listened to Moby, way before. Then we're going to do Steve Winwood. So we were going to see Steve Winwood, but... Uh, uh, we did not, uh, we, we saw Steely Dan live. Here we have Walter Becker. Uh, we saw Steely Dan instead of Steve Winwood, he canceled. And then um, um, we did see uh, Snarky Puppy live. So they were also amazing. Um, so yeah, Steve Winwood, Ark of a Diver from the album Ark of a Diver. This is from 1980. Then... Ladies and gentlemen, Don't Kill the Whale by Yes. And we just saw this amazing uh, documentary yesterday. Um, won't spoil it. It's on uh, It's on Patreon from the album Tormato or Tormato or whatever. However you say it, 1978. The craziest, one of the craziest years for Yes. Even though 78, uh, 79 was crazier for them. And then, uh, so don't kill the whale. Then, zebra, zebra, one more chance. Um, uh, let's see, this is, well, it says here zebra live. I'm going to look on his list real quick if you wanted that version. I think we're going to get that one from YouTube. And then we're going to do, uh, so this is from 1990. I think they only have the live version. I'll get the the, the version, um, the studio version from YouTube. And then we have Rush Countdown from Signals. Signals is 1982. So, I mean, what a lineup. Give me one moment real quick and we'll start it off one second. And we're back. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go with Moby. Why does my heart feel so bad? Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, that was kind of like a weird thank you. But here we go. Why does my heart feel so bad? Why does my soul feel so bad? Why does my heart Why does my heart 
Perfect, perfect time to like I was counting. So um yeah, Moby, I love Moby that um he just has a way of taking bits and pieces of other songs and you can clearly hear that it's I don't know if it's from a movie or some speech or something, another song. You can hear the background noise and it's pasted up on these chords. And uh, there's a really cool song by Moby that I love. I think I've heard this before, to be completely honest. But I didn't remember, um, and I've never really paid attention to the chord structure and all that stuff. But there was a really cool um, song by Moby in the movie Ali, which is also directed by Michael Mann. And he, where Ali gets into it, like his, he starts moving, and there's like this, this drum and bass, really cool. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but. I would love to do a reaction. I would love to show it to Alexia. I love that song. It's most about drums. Like the whole thing is like a drum thing. And and there's some chants and stuff. Really like a little bit reminiscent of this, but really cool. I just love Moby's music. Very heartfelt and uh, very nice. Um, so, uh, so this is definitely not 2008. I think this is before, but well, I mean, it's on this album doesn't really matter but uh really great thank you and uh, i can't believe that and and also um douglas like called this marathon like a mixed bag it's like this has a little bit of everything this is not progressive rock but we got to get into steve winwood yes zebra rush i mean come on we're in for a treat here so let's go So crazy with today's technology, I'm sure you could like kind of like isolate the background noise behind that when he says, what well, does my heart, you know, I'm sure. But Moby says, hey, I don't want it. I just want the, the clip. Give it to me raw and I'm just put it in here and put my chords uh, on top of it. Really cool decision, you know. Um, OK, Steve Winwood's next um, arc of a diver. I've never listened to Steve Winwood before. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a first. Um, uh, and without Alexia, it's a bummer. But, you know, I've heard so much music without Alexia when before I met her. So, you know, it's okay. It's all good. I'll survive. So here we go. Let's go. <laughs> She fades me in sweetness 
everything that made the 80s great is here. Um, a great, a great vocal, you know, I mean, a gr great lyrics, great vocals. You got muted guitars, you got an electric guitar solo, you got strings, um, that 80s bass, beautiful 80s drums, um, mostly electronic. Um, it's just wonderful. It just sounds amazing. It's just that combo that made so many people like the mega stars they were, Michael Jackson, Tina Turner, you know, countless people just use that sound um, to, you know, and uh, it worked and it still works and it still sounds great. And 80s music is still amazing to listen to. It's just a genre that I never grow tired of. It's just good. It's just feel good music. It was a wild time um, being in the 80s, I guess. I mean, um, I can't really talk about that too much, but I mean, being an adult in the 80s must have been crazy. Um, the the hairstyles, the, you know, just the way people were dressing from the 70s into the 80s was like a revolution. And just like all like disco and heavy metal exploded and uh, and music like this which is more like yacht rock is just amazing steely dan had the biggest hits around this era and a little bit before um just fantastic so um yeah everything is just wonderful here thank you so much for you know choosing this tr track and it's just great great music <laughs> I mean, just all these instruments, you know, um, and it still feels like not like 80s, like um, like the one hit wonders, which may be just a bass and a keyboard. Very simple stuff. This feels still very elaborate, very like in the 70s. This would have been more like almost like like classic rock you know and it still has the elements of that but with new instruments you know so th that's why i uh i like this very much and yesterday i was doing um oh god uh what was it called give me one second it's just fantastic music um loggins and messina <sighs> and loggins and messina are still in the 70s and they still all these use all these instruments but basically the 70s version 
You know, they don't use that typical 80s bass and the 80s drums, which are electronic, you know. And the synthesizers, they still use pianos and sax and all this. Uh, more people playing. Um, I guess the synthesizers took over a lot of roles. You had to have three synthesizers. You needed three less musicians. Um, so, so, yeah. Okay. Now, okay, a lot of people are going to be, oh, why are you not doing this with Alexia? Alexia, trust me, listens to a yacht, lot more yes than I do. Um, and, I mean, she listens to the songs that we do here on the channel, but sometimes she can't just, she can't be here. She's trying to move around time and get to a place where we can all do the reactions together. But the channel still has to grow. We still have to get stuff under control. And I just have more time right now. I ha My back is okay. She just can't do it. So please, you know, sorry about that. But she will listen to everything. And, and I know we would love to see her reaction, especially to Yes, Zebra and Rush. But it's just not possible. And look, it's not the longest songs. We're, we literally just did a full movie reaction uh to yes on the patreon it's going to be up there on next monday check that out if you want to see her um and she really loved that movie so if you want to see her reacting to all the guys on yes on film watch that and um okay don't kill the whale tomato tormato or tomato whatever you want to call it here we go
So I didn't pause it. I didn't have the heart to. Um, let's see if if every you know sometimes it's all good. You know, um, since I'm still giving commentary, um, I get away with it. So, uh, but yeah, I've never heard a um, <clears throat> yes song that was so guitar driven. There was like three guitar solos in there. Steve Howe really busy on the guitar. Cool bass by a bass solo or like bass. Not really a solo, but by Chris Squire. Um, Rick Wakeman had a little solo. I just love John Anderson. I mean, who what's not to love? And uh, of course, Alan White on the drums. I hope I got the lineup correct because yesterday we finally watched um, a BBC documentary about um, Yes. And it basically tells the whole story of all the changes, all the lineups. Bill Bruford was in it. Uh, Alan White was not present in that documentary. Bill Bruford comes off a little bit like, um, and I know him from Alan Holdsworth. I've listened to a lot of Bill Bruford in the past with Alan Holdsworth and UK. And he's, I guess, like the professor in that band. Uh, I mean, also Rick Wakeman is a, like a musical genius. I think John Anderson is the one that doesn't know about theory. That's what I got from the documentary. Uh, I think Chris and Steve do read music um but he just comes off a little bit like he i don't know if he he did enjoy his time in yes but then again not so much that's what i received from the documentary i guess he did love to be in the band but he didn't want to stay there forever that's why we got alan white to take over and there was just like this constant moving around of people leaving the band and then then, then uh, uh, Steve and um, I think it was Steve and I don't know, was it Alan White who formed Asia? I'm not really sure, but there's this whole thing. <clears throat> it was just, uh, I have to, go, that book over there, that's the tree <laughs> of rock. Um, I have to like study that. But yeah, there's a lot of going and leaving, so it's very confusing. And we would never get it right. Alexa and I, we would always like say, oh yeah, this is John Anderson. And then it was the other vocalist that came in, in uh, drama. But yeah, really great song. Um, not the yes that we usually listen to. It was more of a very quick song, very fast, not too much, but very good. I did enjoy it very much. But yeah, there's so much to talk about. Yes, it's just amazing. This band is just fantastic. And we love every single one of the players, especially after the documentary. You could really listen to what they thought of the band and how immersed they were. And it was like a school for them, you know, to be in this band was like being in music school. So, OK, let's move it on. Zebra, one more chance. I'm going to use YouTube for that um, because we only have the live version on Spotify. So I'm sorry if it sounds a little bit less quality, but uh, hey, it's all good. Okay, here we go. Zebra, one more chance, and here we go. Okay, what's happening?
straightforward i really good song i loved it um i just i always say this um when i listen to see it he sounds just like getty uh just like getty lee from rush and now we're gonna play some rush so you'll hear literally what i'm talking about but great song i can see that this was a hit uh it sounds very like you know top 40 stuff like that um or better you know but a really cool song. I didn't pause it again. These songs are so short. I feel bad pausing them. But um, the other day I got this um, from a German guy in the comment section. He was like, why does YouTube hate you so much? Why do you have the pause? Like, why are they doing this to you? Other channels don't pause. And I'm like, no, I'm literally just covering my butt. Because if I get a strike, then if I pause the song, I can say, hey, I dispute it. Uh, I can dispute your claim. I did follow the regulations. So right now I broke them twice. But I mean, okay. I get sometimes, you know, bands like, um, I don't know, Yes. Uh, we have gotten like a block from Yes before. But I mean, it's all, it really depends on the record company. The record company, when I upload the YouTube, uh, the video to YouTube, the record company scans the entire content and it says... Okay, there is a song in there that's complete. Then I can put, put it up on YouTube, but if somebody decides to take it down, then I don't have the right to say, oh, but I paused. Um, so basically that gives me the right to dispute. And I repeat this over and over again because hundreds of people are asking every day, I should just make a video and say, these are the rules of YouTube, not mine, you know? And it's not even the... It's not even the uh, the artists. Uh, it's the record company. They don't want full songs uploaded, even though I use this full song on YouTube for my video. So, uh, but at least I'm talking. I'm making this video a file. The file in the end is something that I'm transforming, you know. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now for basically... I I was I I can't say yet. Uh, Russia is my favorite one because yes is they're on the same level for me. But uh, let's let's go with Rush here, and this is the end of the marathon. Um, let's go with Countdown. Here we go. Minus 40 minutes and counting. This is trouble, Mark. Let's all go. Let's 
rush is just so good. I mean, what can you say? I mean, what can I say what I haven't said in all other rush videos? I mean, it, it's just the perfect band, you know, Th a three perfect piece of talent, all three people, all three musicians, Getty, Alex and Neil are just, they're just too good. And I mean, look, listen, to all those changes, it's just perfect. I don't even want to like, um, pause more. Let's just go back and let's ingest this whole thing. It's just beautiful. This whole, and I've never heard this song before. Um, uh, just amazing. That solo, that keyboard solo was so tasty. And I love, I mean, he looks so cool doing all this. I mean, he's singing, playing the bass, playing the foot pedals and keyboards. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> like, he literally, like, no wonder Alexia has, like, a serious crush on Getty Lee. Like, I mean, who doesn't, you know? Um, Alex, just wonderful rhythm guitar here. No need for soloing here. And then Neil just giving that these amazing uh fills you know and and the syncopated drumming it's just like it's a formula for success i i hope and i know a lot of people say oh no and then they've already done their thing but i think we get more rush i think you know maybe in five years or so once once you know i mean neil's passing uh has been laid to rest and and it's such a huge loss for the band, but I think they should continue. And I think that's what Neil would have wanted them to do. And honestly, and there's no one who can replace him. It's impossible. But I mean, there are drummers that have the capacity, you know, and I think that's what I, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you want to just let them be and, you know, let them retire? And they're not too old, you know. I mean, they can still play. Look at the Stones, you know, they're still playing. And so 
or ZZ Top or like all these classic uh, bands. You know, Yes is still playing. King Crimson just um, played. And Genesis just like they did retire. But I mean, I think, I don't think it's, it should be the end for Rush. I mean, they still have so much to give and and I think they they should continue. But let me know what you think. Definitely Rush was the one that I enjoyed the most. Uh, close one to Yes. Uh, but I, I honestly enjoyed all the tracks. They all were very different, just like um, like he wanted. Um, uh, Douglas wanted it to be like a mixed bag, you know, like a, you know, mixed bag marathon. And, and it was, and it was really fun. And I thank you for it. I hope you, I, I hope everybody had fun. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite song? And would you like to hear more of maybe Moby, you know, or Steve Winwood? We do a lot of Rush. We do a lot of Zebra. I've done a Zebra marathon. I've done a Rush marathon. I mean, we have done marathons of all these bands. Yes. Um, uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. And um, sorry again for my voice. I'm still a little bit under the weather. I feel great, though. But I am kind of like I have this bug that won't go away. And uh, so let's see what happens. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.